Thanks, Callie. Campbell says he got into running in high school when his music teacher signed him up to do the 5K for field day. At the time, he didn't know how many laps that was. When he found out it was 12 laps, he decided he wasn't going to do it, but he says that his music teacher forced him to, and he's so grateful for it because it began his amazing running career. With the Olympics so close to his grasp, Kamoy Campbell reflects on everything that has gotten him to this point in his career. Before Campbell can make the Olympic team, he must win the Jamaican Olympic trials. I'll just go there and do what I have to do so I can make the team. And then when I get to the Olympics, try my best to even do better. Campbell believes he can win a bronze medal for himself and his family that has sacrificed so much to help his running dreams come true. I think it's a good goal to have because it kind of, even when I don't want to get up in the morning, I have something to look at and say, oh, okay, this is, this is what I'm working for. So it kind of encourages me to get out of bed, do what I have to do. Here we go, 15 times around the 200-meter over for a Southeastern Catholic Championship. So throughout my whole career of running, I've had people like, pushing me and helping me and encouraging me, motivating me to get where I need to be, and I thank them for that and I'll try to do them proud. Campbell is grateful for all who have helped him with his dreams and he's hoping he can pay them back with Olympic. He says the most important takeaway from his experience for the younger athletes would be to set goals no matter how ridiculous they seem. He'll be competing in the Jamaican Olympic trials in June and hopefully we'll see this Razorback on the road to Rio. For UATV, I'm Hannah Bortnick. Back to you, Callie.